morning, everyone. So let's make physics less complicated here. Let's start with dipole. What is an electric dipole? Can anybody answer this? Electric dipole? Yes. Exactly. So this is a charge positive charge Q. We have another charge which is negative, negative Q. These two charges are equal and opposite and they are separated by a very short distance between them, let's say 2A. And this is an electric dipole. Okay. So two equal and opposite charges separated by a very short distance 2A. This is called electric dipole. Next, this takes us to our next topic which is electric dipole moment electric dipole moment what is electric dipole moment then electric dipole moment is a vector quantity that is very important it is a vector quantity which is used to indicate the strength of an electric dipole this is an electric dipole to indicate the strength of this electric dipole we use a vector quantity called electric dipole moment okay electric dipole moment is directed from negative to positive, from negative charge to positive charge and it is denoted by the letter P. Okay. What is the formula to find electric dipole moment? The formula to find electric dipole moment is Q, that is the magnitude of either charge into the distance between the two charges, that is 2A. This is the formula to find electric dipole moment. Electric dipole moment can be defined as the product of magnitude of either charge and the distance between the two charges. Okay. Now, let's move to our next topic which is electric field intensity. What is electric field then? Electric field intensity is another quantity. Let's come to it later. But let's start with electric field. What is electric field? Suppose I have a charge here. Let's say a positive charge Q. This charge is our source charge. Okay. I am bringing another charge, a test charge, another positive charge next to this source charge. This is source charge. This is a new charge. Okay. Now, I am bringing this new charge next to the source charge. So what will happen to this new charge? This charge will experience electrostatic force. Okay. The region around the source charge due to which any other charge particle brought next to it experiences a force. An electrostatic force is called electric field. Okay. Electric field intensity is a vector quantity which is used to indicate the strength of electric field. Okay. Now let's move to our topic for today which is electric field intensity at an equatorial point on the electric dipole. Now how, what is the formula to find electric field intensity? To find dipole we have P is equal to Q into 2A. To find electric field intensity E is equal to KQ by R square. Okay. K is electrostatic force constant, Q the charge okay? and R is the distance between these two charges. Okay. Okay, let's move to our topic which is electric field intensity at an equatorial point. So first let's take a dipole. Positive charge, negative charge, they separate, this is the center, okay. The distance between these two charges is 2A. Since this is the center, this distance is A, this distance is also A. Now what do we have to find? electric field intensity at an equatorial point. Where is the equatorial point on this, di on this diagram, on this dipole? Can you tell me where the equatorial point is? Is there an equatorial point here on this dipole? No. So what should we do? We should take the equatorial point first. And what is an equatorial point? Any point on the equatorial line is called equatorial point. Where is equatorial line here? Yes. A perpendicular bisector to the dipole axis, this is the dipole axis, a perpendicular bisector to the dipole axis is called equatorial line. So this is our equatorial 
line it is a perpendicular bisector of the dipole axis okay now any point on this equatorial line is called equatorial point okay so let's take a point p here this is our equatorial point okay the distance from the center to our equatorial point can be taken as r okay next what do we have to do we have to find this distance the distance from the charge to equatorial point what is that distance the distance between the charge and equatorial point this is a right triangle we have its base we have its altitude we have to find hypotenuse so what what do we use here we use pythagoras theorem exactly so root of r square plus a square will give this distance okay similarly here also it is root of r square plus a square okay now let's find the electric field intensities electric field intensity at the equatorial point that is point p due to this charge let's take it as e minus q what is e minus q what is the general equation for equator electric field intensity kq by r square okay so k q by what is this r square okay what is r here root of r square plus a square root of r square plus a square the whole square so we'll get k q by r square plus a square okay similarly this for this uh, the electric field intensity at p due to plus q can also be given as e plus q is equal to k q by the distance is same which is r root of r square plus a square the whole square so k q by r square plus a square now see r is the same that means e minus q is equal to e plus q is equal to i'm writing e minus q is equal to e plus q is equal to e q okay now c e minus q electric field intensity is directed from positive to negative so e plus q is directed from where to where this is positive this is negative e plus q is directed from positive to negative so this is the direction of e plus q and e minus q is directed into right into the negative charge so this is the direction of e minus q okay now we have to find e equatorial okay electric field intensity at point p which is e plus q plus e minus q okay for that this is a vector this is another vector e plus q is one vector e minus q is another vector we have to resolve these two vectors so let's draw x axis y axis okay this angle is theta this is theta this is also theta okay this this direction towards this direction we have e plus q sin theta and towards this direction oh this direction we have e plus q cos theta similarly for e minus q along this direction we have e minus q sin theta and along this direction we have e minus q cos theta okay look at the sign components sign components are equal and opposite e plus q and e minus q are equal so therefore e plus q sin theta and e minus q sin theta are also equal they are equal and opposite so they cancel out and what about the cos components they are traveling in the same direction and they are equal traveling in the same direction therefore they add up okay so we do not take sign components here because they cancel out and why do they cancel out because they are in the equal and opposite direction okay so how how are we going to find the electric field intensity at this point e plus q plus e minus q so shall we write it as e equatorial is equal to since sign comp uh, co uh, sign components cancel out we are going to write it as e plus q cos theta plus e minus q cos theta okay e plus q and e minus q are equal to eq okay so shall we write it as 2 eq cos theta yes 2 eq cos theta what is eq 
What is EQ? K Q by R square. R square plus A square. So 2 into K Q by R square plus A square cos theta. Now, shall we find cos theta? This is theta. What is cos theta? Yes, very good. Adjacent side by hypotenuse. We have adjacent side which is A. We have hypotenuse which is root of R square plus A square. So, let's write cos theta is equal to A by root of R square plus A square. Okay. Let's substitute it here. So, we get E equatorial is equal to 2 into K Q by R square plus A square into A by root of R square plus A square. Okay. Now, what is our next step? E equatorial is equal to, let's multiply. So, this on the numerator we get 2 K Q A by R square plus A square into root of R square plus A square we get R square plus A square rise to 3 by 2. Okay. Now, what is the next step? See, this Numerator, I am going to rewrite it. E equatorial is equal to K I am taking outside. Okay. Then I am writing Q into 2A divided by R square plus A square the whole, uh, whole rise to 3 by 2. Okay. What is Q into 2A? Yes. P. Q into 2A is P. So we shall write E equatorial is equal to Q into 2A K into P by R square plus A square rise to 3 by 2. Okay. Now, this is for a normal dipole. For a very short dipole, this distance A, okay, this distance will be very much smaller than this distance. Okay. So, we shall write for a short dipole, R is very much greater than A. Therefore, A is negligible. Okay. So, what do we write? E equatorial is equal to Kp by R square rise to 3 by 2. Okay. What will happen? 2, 2 will cancel out. So, E equatorial is equal to Kp by R cube is the final equation for a short dipole. This is the electric field intensity at any equatorial point. Okay. That's it. Uh, thank you so much. Any questions? Yes, please. Uh, so, for the point is the total charge of a dipole is zero, but then the electric field produced for the dipole is not zero. How does that happen? Because they are charges, and on the equatorial point, they see the cos components, like we looked at this earlier, the cos components they add up. So, the electric field intensities add up there. To, to understand the strength of an electric field? Yeah, because when, uh, when two charges are brought together, when a test charge is brought next to a source charge, the test charge obviously it experiences a force. Why is this force experienced? Due to electric field. So we should find the strength of this electric field and for that we need to find electric field intensity. I did not get your question. Okay, to start with free line, is a continuous curve. Yeah. So, like free lines cannot uh, get solid in this one. Oh, can I get back to your question later because I'm not clear with it much. So, why is the charge We can calculate the electric field at any point on the equatorial line. So, but why are we using the only point? We can find it in axial line also. Axial means the point will be on the elect on the dipole axis. Here, the point is on the equatorial line, which is drawn perpendicular to the dipole axis. So, in which case, if due to a point charge, there will be an electric field, and if there's also due to the dipole, there will be an electric field, which will be faster in this case. Due to a dipole. How 
the equatorial, the electric field intensity at the equatorial point is two times that at the axial point. I'm not sure about it. <laughs> 